I Racing Dan here, getting started with the ISRA League's uh, fun race here at Spa in the Skippy. I qualified in fourth and got a great start off the line. This one wasn't for points, but uh, it was open to both the GP and GTC series uh, drivers. There we go, passing Daniel Gralti. That doesn't happen often for me, so uh, pretty exciting right there. And with my great start off the line, that put me in third, so uh, the pass of Daniel now puts me into second. And I'm not going to be able to get the pass off here, but I wanted to go wide just to make sure that I didn't run into anyone here. Daniel sticks right behind me. Looks like he's about 0.4 seconds. Entering there a little bit hot. But... Not too bad, handled it pretty well. Now, coming up here, Daniel's 0.2 seconds behind me, and um, this is a, a Pujon is, is really tricky, particularly in this car, it's very slidey. So I, um, I, I don't know, I kind of sabotaged myself. I decided to enter too fast rather than get rear-ended. Because entering too fast, all right, fine. So I just lost like, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six positions. But um, I didn't get damaged in the process. So I can always make positions back up. And I always seem to do that in my races anyway. Whether it's through... Uh, bad qualifying or some mistake that I make, it's always crawling my way back towards the top. Unfortunately, the names are just fuzzy enough that I can't quite make out who I'm passing here. The uh, Skip Barber car is, uh, I've actually never driven it before, so it's pretty cool. I liked it a lot. I may have to uh, try running the official series one of these seasons. I mean, it's not massively challenging, but it's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit rear uh, slip happy. Back through Urouge. Downshifting just at the top because the uh, car can't quite keep up speed in fifth gear. Gets right into fourth peak power band, or at least the high end of its power band, right at the top there, about 109 miles an hour. And then only makes it up to 117 by the end of the straight. Although that straight is deceptively uh, inclined. It's quite an uphill climb right there. You can't really tell because all the trees are blocking your view of the valley to the right. But um, you're definitely going uphill. Alright, so we have Gilles. Gilles? Ah, I screwed up again there. Everyone sort of pronounces his name differently. Uh, I guess it's uh, Gilles, um, but anyway, so he was ahead of me, and it looks like uh, Jeremy is also ahead of me here, so got the two of them in a pair of green cars. This was a 15-lap race, and it looks like we are in lap three, if I read this correctly. 
to. I think I just skipped ahead. In fact, I remember now from editing that I did a couple days ago. I just skipped ahead a little bit. Jill goes and spins. That was close call there. And that dodge maneuver on Jeremy's... Oh, no. Uh, sorry, that's James Mines. Now I can read it. James, hey. All right, so that um, was a pass on James. He didn't want to go too wide through there. I can't blame him. It's a tricky thing to do, particularly in this car. It's really at the edge of its grip going up there at full throttle. All right, we've got... It looks like Mike... No, that's not Mike Kelly right ahead of me, I don't think. It's... Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it is. And right next to me, we've got David Sarwa. So, I don't know why he started behind me. Maybe he, I didn't remember if he uh, didn't qualify or, or what, but um, he's one of the uh, league's very fast drivers. So I didn't give him much of a challenge. I figured I would just draft off him because these cars don't have a strong draft, but they do have something if you're close. So you know what they say, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. Dave is not my enemy, but in this case he's my competitor, obviously. And uh, I figured if I let him pass uh, nice and cordially, I'd be able to get right back up behind him. And it worked beautifully here, as I'm able to take advantage of his speed. I don't want to pass him. I'm not going to try to pass him here. After you, David. So David went on ahead and did a bunch of passing. And uh, I've got James Mines behind me. Jerry uh, Moserdorf, I hope I said that right, I probably totally screwed it up, right in front of me. Didn't get up alongside enough there, but figured I'd get a better line through the chicane, which I did right there. Pick up some speed. Try to pass him through turn one, La Source, or however it's pronounced in French. Not gonna happen. But on turn exit, it looks like I might have a good chance heading down the straight. I got a little backlogged, so um, I don't remember everything that happened in the race after having edited it a couple days ago. I need to keep these things fresher. But uh, I wanted to do that 30-minute Lime Rock uh, recap and... I kept the video uncompressed on my hard drive, which was 330 gigs. Okay, what was that weird little blip there? Hmm. Oh well. I think maybe we just, uh, you know what I think happened? I think I just uh, edited um, out a, a lap or two, and uh, it happened that I put it the uh, the end of one clip uh, right at the same place at the, uh, as the beginning of the next clip, um, in terms of where, uh, where I was on track. So that was a little disorienting, sorry about that. And I think I did this mostly just to illustrate the battle here between Mike and, uh, Jerry. Obviously not a whole lot of action on my front, but, um, these two have been going at it for a couple laps. Nice close racing. And it looks like Jerry is right next to me. He's definitely ahead of me. Yep. He managed to eke out a little bit more speed. Doesn't trust himself to go fully wide. I think that may have been very wise, but he takes a slightly shallow uh, turn entry and then makes it too deep, so he loses time there. I get the pass. Okay, and now we've got some action going on. Jerry didn't lose too much time there. He's less than a second behind me. So hot on my tail, and you can bet that he's going to draft and be right with me down this straight. Meanwhile, I'm gaining on uh, Mike. I 
I'm not going to gain uh, enough to make the pass here. Jerry comes around, and we actually ended up double teaming Mike there. Jerry came a little bit too wide, and Mike slowed down an awful lot. And um, let's watch that in an instant replay from the uh, from another vantage point here in slow motion, because uh, we got to see exactly what happened there. Okay, so here we go. So Jerry looks like he didn't. He had some trouble braking, and. Um, he wasn't able to make the turn in, and so that's how he made contact there. Slow it down even more, so I'm right behind, and Mike just goes real slow. He probably anticipated that Jerry was coming up there, but uh, we tagged him at the same time. Sorry about that, Mike. And uh, that was pretty much the end of the action for the race. I finished in fourth. But, um, oh, maybe I'm wrong. I thought that was going to turn to a checkered. It did not. So we have one lap left here. And Mike Kelly right behind me. Oh, there we go. Now it's a checkered. Oh, we were using the, uh, not the GP pits. That's why. Okay, so that explained it. So, fourth place. But, uh, 